In this week's List Bomb, we cover the top eight movie and TV cliches. Starting off today's list at number eight, computer hacking. For the most part, computer hacking in movies and TV has no basis in reality. Except for a few examples, most depictions of computer hacking fall into one of three categories. The first being a graphical hacking interface, as seen here in the movie Hackers or Weird Science. The next being a simple verbose command, something along the lines of hack mainframe being typed into a computer console. And last but not least, the infamous keyboard shuffle. Basically, just push a bunch of keys, press enter, and throw your hands up in the air. Number seven, enhance that. This is a staple of crime drama and movies. When the plotline stalls, law enforcement can always rely on unrealistic image enhancement to give them clues. Using movie magic, law enforcement can turn what amounts to five pixels into a full and clear image. Number six, bad aim. A long-standing joke or cliché to raise viewers' tension is a good old gunfight. The rule of cinematic gunfights is, no matter how hard you try to get a kill shot, you almost always miss. The flip side is, if you try to only wound an enemy with something like a knee shot, you'll have perfect aim. Number 5. The 2 Second Bomb Anytime you see a time bomb being diffused, more often than not, it will be diffused at only two seconds left on the clock. This is a long-standing staple in Hollywood for good reason. It's a great tension builder and it helps the audience emotionally connect with the characters. Number four, women have no balance. Regardless of the footwear, women in movies can never maintain their balance when running for their lives. In Hollywood, it's mandatory that if a woman is ever chased, she must trip and fall down. Number three, reading a book out loud. One thing you should never, ever do in a movie or TV show is read a book out loud. In most cases, reading out loud will usually summon evil spirits or cast a spell. I don't even want to know what happens when someone tries to read the dictionary out loud. Number two, happiness equals death. The better and more happy your life is in a movie or TV show, the more likely you're gonna die. It's a polar opposite irony situation that's been used over and over again. One of the main reasons is it's one of the fastest ways to show the uncertainty of life. Number one, bad guys don't die. At least not the first time around. No matter the movie or TV show, bad guys don't die easily. If you think the bad guy's dead, he's not. You can rest assured that he'll be back and badder than before. This is one of the oldest and most sacred cliches in Hollywood, and it's a staple in the industry, so much so that the movie Zombieland broke the fourth wall and put it out there. Which leads me to my second rule, the double tap. In those moments when you're not sure the undead are really dead dead, don't get all stingy with your bullets. I mean, one more clean shot to the head. And this lady could have avoided becoming a human Happy Meal. Love them or hate them, cliches are storytelling tools that have helped tell some of the greatest stories ever told. And personally, I'd rather have a cliche than no story at all. But tell me guys, what do you think is the most overused cliche you've ever seen? Leave your comments below.